Here are 10 local or same device co-op games for your iPad with control support too. Starting at number 10, we have Tabletop Racing World Tour. Here we have an arcade racing game where you and a friend can control tiny mini cars on tables. To play in split screen, it's super simple. With two controllers connected to your iPad, just head into multiplayer from the main menu. From here, you can play in split screen online or split screen versus battle offline matches. When you create a match, you can choose your favorite track or route, decide on the number of laps, turn on AI opponents, and enable or disable power-ups, upgrades, etc. Number nine is Death Squared. First released on PC and console, only a few years back, SMG Studio ported Death Squared to iOS. It's a puzzle game for one or two people about coordination, cooperation, and robot explosions. When you have two controllers connected, you're good to go. One player will control the red robot and the other, the blue robot. Across the 80 levels, you'll have to work together and try not to directly impact the other robot by having them fall off or get blasted by lasers. There is also really funny and well done voice acting in this game between a human and an AI component. It's worth checking out. Anyway, Death Squared costs $5.99 USD. Please note, the game doesn't fit the full screen resolution of new iPad Pro screens. Number eight, we have Tawaga Among Shadows. In February 2020, Sunnyside Games brought a local multiplayer mode to their action fantasy game. It's known as Light Clash. Up to four players can connect via controllers and can battle it out to be the winner. To connect a controller, press any button from the multiplayer menu and you'll join. When in game, players will shoot a beam to damage other players, but you must keep in mind doing this consumes mana. So you'll have to gather mana crystals to replenish your mana. Players will also have to deal with a dangerous purple fog that encloses in on you. If it touches you, it hurts you, unless another player wins and then it doesn't really matter. Tawaga Among Shadows is available to download if you're subscribed to Apple Arcade on the App Store. Number seven is Badland. Many forgot that the original Badland supports up to four players on the same device. You can join co-op or versus from the main menu and it's as easy as pressing the action button on your controller to join. In co-op, you can play modified single player campaign chapters from day one, day two, daydream, and doomsday. In versus mode, the players compete against each other in specially made levels to be the last one standing. Badland was one of the earliest games on the App Store to support local co-op for controllers, and it's still one of the best all these years later. Please note, the game doesn't fit the full screen resolution of new iPad Pro screens. Number six, we have Sociable Soccer. Sociable Soccer is a casual sports game with an arcade tone. If you go into a friendly match from the main menu, from here, you can play in the two player mode if you have two connected controllers, that is. Both players can confirm a team selection assign their controller to their team, and then go into head-to-head -head matches that only last a few minutes. Don't take the game too seriously. The player movement is sometimes awkward. However, it's actually really addicting and fun. You and a friend are sure to have a good time, trust me. Sociable Soccer is available to download if you're subscribed to Apple Arcade on the App Store. Number five is Crashlands. It was only a few years back that the story-driven ARPG Crashlands was updated, bringing same-screen co-op. To enable two-player co-op, you have to pass the opening tutorial mission on board the spaceship. Then, player two just presses the menu button on their controller to join. It's worth noting that player two controls Juicebox, your sidekick, 
and can harvest materials and fight with you. So player one controls the main protagonist, Flux Stapes, a galactic trucker, and they will do all the decision making. It's a fun game to play with a friend, however they might not enjoy taking the backseat per se, but a younger sibling or casual or unexperienced gamer friend would have a good time here. Crashlands costs $6.99 USD on the App Store. Number 4 we have Octodad Dadliest Catch. Many don't know that Octodad Dadliest Catch has support for local co-op for up to 4 players. But how does that work here? Well, each controller can be assigned to a different body part of the octopus, from his right arm, left arm, right leg, or left leg. Or you can put it into roulette mode for a real challenging experience. Then together with your buddies, you'll have to try and help the octopus complete his objectives and hide his identity. I will warn you, this game will test your friendships. You might find yourself laughing or fighting over the game, or maybe you'll work in unison. Octodad Dadliest Catch will set you back $4.99 USD. Number 3 is Cat Quest 2. The entire Cat Quest campaign can be played in local co-op. Accessing it is a little confusing at first, but it's, it's pretty easy. You have to have both controllers connected to your iPad, then from the settings menu of Cat Quest 2, change the input type to controller. Then you can play the co-op mode together. It's an open world action RPG set in a fantasy realm of cats and dogs. Working together is really fun. You'll both have access to different weapon types, spells and abilities. I find the best playstyle is to have one person being the attacker and going in close, and the other the defender who is a bit further back. Cat Quest 2 is available to download if you're subscribed to Apple Arcade on the App Store. Number 2 is Crypt of the Necro Dancer. This game is different. It's a hardcore, roguelike rhythm game where players have to move to the beat of the soundtrack. You can only move or attack if you perform the action to the beat of the music. To play with a friend, walk into the local co-op stairs from the lobby. Now you're both free to explore zones, play daily challenges, unlock items, weapons and upgrades, change characters or do whatever. Crypt of the Necro Dancer costs $3.99 USD on the App Store. Please note, the game doesn't fit the full screen resolution of new iPad Pro screens. Sorry. Number one, we have Death Road to Canada. Death Road to Canada is an action RPG where you manage a group of civilians trying to survive in a zombie apocalypse. It features choices, zombies to pass by or attack, randomly generated environments, places to explore from cities, supermarkets, hotels, hospitals, and so on. And you can hunt for supplies from melee weapons, guns, and food. For player two to join, just start a game, press any button on the controller, and choose which character to play as. It's that simple. Death Row to Canada might sound expensive at $14.99 USD. That said, I'd say it offers the most developed experience out of all these games on the list. The replay value is incredible. Every playthrough is pretty much entirely different. Here are two bonus games. 3D kart racing game Super Tux Kart is coming to the App Store. It will support split screen multiplayer for, I don't know, two to four players. Crossy Road has a local on-screen multiplayer mode for two players. However, it doesn't support controllers. Instead, to move, player one taps on the left side of the screen and player two taps on the right side of the screen. What local co-op games do you play on your iPad? Do you play any, actually? Did you even know that this was possible? Let me know in the comments. If this video was a massive help, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, you should subscribe and turn on notifications as this is the best place to find games 
for all your Apple devices. Anyway, thanks for watching.